Y'all, what's up, y'all? It's your girl, Top Notch Butterscotch. You're now tuned in to City Flow here on Hidden City Radio. The time is now 7 o'clock, February 22nd. Y'all already know how it goes on City Flow here at Hidden City Radio. Now, before we get started, y'all know I got to go through the ropes and let y'all know that if you would like to be on the show, please submit your inquiry to hiddencityradio at gmail.com. If you're an artist, please submit your music in MP3 format with proper metadata because I am a registered station with BMI and ASCAP. So make sure y'all get all of that situated before submitting your music. Now, if you're a business owner, submit me an email and in the subject say business owner and also include like your website or Instagram page, Facebook page, somewhere where I can look at your product and make sure you want to up and up and ready to be on the show. You know what I'm saying? Every opportunity is not an opportunity you got to take. You know what I'm saying? I learned that as a business owner, but you know, we live and we learn and we grow. That's how we go. Moving right along. So please submit that information to me and I'll reach back out to you to schedule an interview. Just that easy. Now, when we get back, we're going to be talking with our guest of the evening. Yes, I know y'all ready for this. I just got to make sure she's ready. So, you know, just ride with me. You know what I'm saying? Now, um, let me see what I'm going to play for y'all tonight. Because, you know, these people over at uh, Instagram and Facebook just be hating. But I think I got a song that I can play where they won't say nothing. You know what I'm saying? I don't care if they say something anyway. <laughs> But now we're gonna get y'all going good. Let me get a good song for y'all right now. Let me get that new Vivian Green. I said I was gonna play something that they couldn't say nothing, but I lied. So <laughs> let's get that lighted up going with featuring Ghostface Killer. Let's get that up in there. Yes, sir. Y'all keep it locked right here with your girl Top Notch Butterscotch right here on Hit City Radio. Yeah. 
Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. I didn't play that whole track. I'm, I'm starting not to do that when my guests show up on time. I like that. And she's been on time, too. So, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, y'all, let me introduce y'all to a guest that I've been watching grow. Her product is amazing. I haven't bought any, but I plan on buying some. I don't know what it's going to do for me, but I, I know it's going to do some miracles. <laughs> From what I see in the reviews, but y'all, let me introduce y'all to Miss Hanifa Pinellas. Hello, 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 everybody. How you doing? Good, good, good. First off, I just want to say I'm honored I was given this opportunity to interview you, and I myself already know you. And that's a crazy story. <laughs> so, um, if you don't mind, please introduce yourself to our listeners. Yes. Hello, um, everyone. My name is Hanifa, uh, formerly known as Hanny, and um, I am the owner, and uh, I would, I guess you would call me the CEO of, <laughs> <laughs> I know, this is it's still all new to me, I'm just uh -huh. to the title, but I'm still the uh, same old Hanny. Yeah, <laughs> it's nothing wrong with that. You know, those big names, they're just for validation. Some people, I want CEO, founder, right. I want all of that. You know what I'm saying? So I just wanted to show respect where respect was due. Thank so you. I am honored to have you on the show. So um, I know our listeners are dying to hear more about you. So let's jump right into this interview, shall we? Yes. yes. All right. All right. So. Now, I know you started a hair care product business, and it's all natural. Is that correct? Correct. All right. And you know everybody's on that all natural gig. They, they worried about what they put in their hair. You know right. what I'm saying? So what made you start Majestic Hair Care Products? Okay. So as long as I've, I'm um, just going to kind of give you some history. As long as I've known myself, I've always been intrigued with hair. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, even as a child, most girls would get baby dolls to dress them up, make them look pretty. To mm -hmm. me, if the doll didn't have any hair, I didn't want to play with it at all. <laughs> I needed something. That was me. And um, at an early age, I realized that I had a gift of just, you know, braiding um, style and styling hair. That was my thing. Okay. And um, so that has just been a natural talent of mine. Now we're going to fast forward to when I had my daughter. Um, when and I she is her, quite beautiful. She is adorable. <laughs> thank you, Miss Zion. When I mm -hmm. had her, um, my baby was born with like a patch, like a buzz <laughs> on the top and bald all through the back, the side. Okay. And I said, I said, oh, my God, now you know, I, do <laughs> I can't work with this. I need something to go you know, that I can work with. And so that's how um, I started. I said, you know what, how can I, what natural products could I use to help grow her hair? So I, right. just, there, I just started to dig in and do some research. And when I started to look at the different um, essential oils that was out there, I mean, everyday household items that we use anyway, I was yep. surprised to realize that that's what we need for our hair. Right. So I did a little bit of mixing. You know, I started to make my concoction, and then that's how I created the hair growth serum. Now, at the time, um, she was, I would say, six months old. Okay. And I started putting it in her hair. By the time baby girl was about a year and a half. That hair, I remember you would make those posts. I was like, wow, she has long hair to be that young. And yes. that's because you made that serum. Correct. So wow. then my friends and family members, you know, they realized, they said, man, what are you putting in her hair? So, you know, I started making the serum for, you know, my, my, my sister and, you know, different people. But it was never, it never dawned on me like, okay, maybe I should bottle this stuff. Me, I literally did it because I just wanted everyone's hair to be healthy. You know, right. it's a bad um uh, stigma with you know black women and having healthy long hair. That it's is true. 
it's it's impossible and it's not impossible to have healthy long thick hair so i mm -hmm. kind of want to change that a little bit okay nice so as, I, as the years continue to go by i um i continue to use the product i don't i do not buy anything in the store for her Nice. And I put in her hair. That is the only oil that I put in her hair. And now she's sick and her hair is like bra strap limp. Wow. You know? Yeah. So that's um that's pretty much that's pretty much the story. So now um last year mm -hmm. I'm gonna tell you how majestic hair care started. Okay. Last year, um I've always been also I, I've been in healthcare for a long time. That's a okay of mine i love helping people um but my baby is here right so when we yeah. came into the pandemic um i found myself very stressed very overwhelmed the hospital that i was working for um it just became very chaotic and yeah. I would come home every day to my husband telling him, like, look, this is not what I signed up for. I was having anxiety attacks. Mm -hmm. And this was like the beginning stages of the pandemic. My husband just said to me, every time I came crying, I hate my job. This is not what I signed up for. And he would always say, hey, just go back to doing hair. Like, that is your, you know, that's your passion. That's something that you're good at. Why don't you go back to it? And right. I finally listened to him. And let me tell you something. I have been at peace ever since. <laughs> I know I that's right. I'm telling you, in the midst of a pandemic, I know people right. were probably like crazy. You leave, you left your job in the middle of a pandemic. But let me tell you, that is where our wealth was. A lot right. of times we don't realize that the things that the very thing that you may be running from, you know, is where your wealth is. So you better yeah. preach on this. Hello. You better preach on this. Hello. <laughs> Listen, and I found peace because when I do hair, to me, it's not just doing hair. I right. am literally at, it, it doesn't even seem like work to me. Right, so, right. You're um, passionate about it. I'm passionate about it. So because I started, you know, getting back into the hair, you know, the hair field all together. And then I, you know, I, I mostly do braids and natural styles. Okay. So I said, okay, well, maybe I should, this would be a good time to actually roll out, you know, the hair growth serum. Because, I mean, with protective styles, yep. they need to moisturize their hair. Yep. I rolled it out on my daughter's birthday, November 13th. 2020 nice. and nice. let me tell you something in the first month i not even not even in the first two weeks i sold 100 bottles off top i saw your post gear i was like oh all right girl go ahead <laughs> yes i sold 100 bottles in the first two weeks and mm -hmm. let me tell you something the after the first month it was just like the reviews and then the repeat orders. Now my customers that bought the serum initially, now they're coming back. They're like, oh, I need another bottle. Oh, I need yes. two Oh, I told my friend, I told my girlfriend, I told my mm -hmm. neighbor. And then that's, it It pretty much just spread from there, you know, word of mouth. And yeah. now I'm pretty much in and I'm like close to 400 bottles sold already. Wow. Yeah. And to think like I wasn't even going to launch it like it was right it was, right right it was just like a family thing <laughs> it was yeah and it was like a spare the moment thing and i just said you know what let me just do it and it has been amazing like the reviews to me nice selling the bottles is one thing but mm -hmm. getting the reviews and the feedback to me that's everything because it's one thing when you see a vision but when somebody right. come back and tell you that you know what what you said is true mm -hmm. priceless Nice, nice, yeah. nice. <laughs> that is an awesome how'd you start story. <laughs> wow. Okay, so wow. Okay. So yes, there is a stigma with black hair. Now, when you said that your baby had a patch right here and no hair right here, you know, typically you would think, oh, that's cradle head. Or is that what it's called? Because I don't have children. But yeah, isn't that cradle cap? Cradle cap, yeah. So Technically, you can say like, no, there's a solution for that with your hair care product. Is that correct? Right. Correct. Correct. Nice. 
nice. Okay, let me get out. Let me stop that before mine get here. Yeah. <laughs> I got you. Trust me. I got you. <laughs> so let me ask you because I have locks, you know, and I do my own hair because I'm very like finicky of who I let touch my hair. So I don't. I, I don't like my hair to be like over moisturized because my hair like naturally produces oil itself. So would your serum like moisturize my scalp or would it make my hair grow? Like what would it do for me with these locks? Tell me. Okay. So with the uh, with the locks, what it will do, what, the one thing that I love about my serum, and I'm not tooting my own horn because it's my serum. Toot it, girl. Toot it. <laughs> <laughs> But one of the things that I love, because I am the same way. I don't like to feel too much oil and have a greasy head. Right. But what the oil is that it's very light. It's okay. very light. And these oils are proven to penetrate through the hair shaft. So nice. it, it locks in the moisture. So that's a good thing. Now, okay. with the locks, it'll strengthen it and it'll add the moisture that it needs. And if there is any thinning, then it'll thicken it up. That's all I needed to hear, boo boo. <laughs> I will be purchasing a bottle soon. Yes, <laughs> wow. Okay, so was there a time that you ever wanted to quit? Like just saying, you know what, I just don't even want to do the hair care product no more. I need to find me go back to the hair health care field. So um, even though everything was good, mm -hmm. you know, I think with any entrepreneur once you're starting out you always have those doubts you yeah. always wonder if you're going to be successful you wonder if this thing is going to take off you know you everyone has those fears so of course i i was thinking like okay but what if this doesn't work um right. i i didn't want to quit um mm -hmm. because if i if i quit then you know it's like it's like me saying that the product is not what I'm telling you that it is, you know? Mm. It's just a matter of, because I know I know this to be true, because I've been using it on my daughter for six years. So she is my and wife. You would have never known. <laughs> I just thought, you know, oh, the baby grew into her hair. That's all, you know? Right. And here you are, working it in in the background. <laughs> wow. Wow. Yeah. Yes. So I, I felt discouraged, you know, just like anytime, you know, the opposition that you're going to face, you know, anytime you're getting ready to embark on something great, I was of course. Like, I know when something is for me, because anytime there's any kind of opposition, baby, you know, that is for you. Preach That's church all. tabernacle. But, I, you know, I'm just, I'm just saying. Girl, saying. preach, honey, preach. Because some of these folks probably watching need to hear this. Preach, yeah. be you, girl. We the only station just with no reservation. Going. Keep on going. Keep on going. Yes. Nice, nice, nice. So what is your favorite thing about being an owner, though? Um, I guess the flexibility nice. that it allows me to have. Mm -hmm. Um, Again, none of this, none of it, no matter how overwhelmed I am, no matter how tired I feel, no matter how backed up I may be on orders, mm -hmm. it still doesn't feel like work to me because I'm passionate about it. Nice. As opposed to, you know, if I'm doing something that I really don't enjoy or something that's causing me a tremendous amount of stress, then I'm kind of, you know, agitated. But right. this, I, I love every minute of it. I love to see the different phases since I've launched in November, the different phases that I've gone through. I'm loving it all. Loving nice, it all. nice. So did the lady at the post office, I remember they was being nosy. What are you shipping off? Did they ever buy a package? Yes, nice. She yes, she did. I waited right for her because it was close to five o'clock. <laughs> and I said, she said oh, we need two bottles. I said, I got you, boo. I know that's right. <laughs> I sure yeah, I sure did. And nice. she, she always went since that, since that moment, uh -huh. she always took care of me. I know that's right. You scratch her back, she gonna scratch yours. And shipping ain't shipping ain't um cheap if you know what I mean. It's not. It's not. Wow. Yeah. So the 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 shipping is really really um is really not cheap. And right. I, I I'm glad you touched on that because I just <laughs> kind of paint a a perspective 
a lot of times, you know, um, you know, people may have a product and they may kind of waver, you know, on how I should price this or how much should I be charging. Yeah. But the truth of the matter is, what I charge for the products that I get and the 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 um the shipping costs, I'm really taking a, a, a hit. But it, it's okay. I'm not complaining. I'm right. Not complaining. I do it because I'm trying to get my product out there to you. Mm-hmm. Once you see and you realize that it is good, then you're not. Then none of that is going to matter to you. You're going to want to buy it again. But really, right. They, they they need to lower the shipping prices. I think we need to. <laughs> have you tried reaching out to um a commercial shipper like dhl because i know they do offer some sort of small business packaging promotion so you may want to look into them and i believe ups you. as well Thank you. yes yep so look into them and they'll be able to steer you in the right direction um so okay yeah 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 <laughs> they'll be able to steer you in the right direction with that so let's see what is what is the dream like what is the end goal do you want to be like the next carol's daughter i don't know if you remember carol's daughter do you remember their product i'm from she said oh i (laughs) you already know where book the (laughs) door yeah Brooklyn. So uh, when I when I say that, it's not to be arrogant. You know, New Yorkers sometimes can come on. Right, 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 right. right. <laughs> I'm not arrogant, but what the, why I said I'm from Brooklyn is because I remember when Carol's daughter she was selling her products at the farmers market. Yeah. That's how she started yep. out. Yeah. So, I was a little girl. I remember my mom buying Car- Carol's daughter. Carol's daughter. Lady used, <laughs> used to make all of her products. In, in her yeah yeah so i i remember i remember I, so even that that you know that woman inspired me the other day you know a couple months ago i watched uh self-made you know about madam cj Walker. yes i love that series yes that whole that whole series just kind of motivated me too so yeah i know nice. carol <laughs> nice, nice. I remember her store in Brooklyn. Labels before she even had labels. Mm. Yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I still remember that mango lime or mango twist I used to get for it was like twenty five dollars a bottle, but it was worth it. It was worth it. Yes. Wow. So, do you see yourself doing a brick and mortar or just e commerce? So, I I don't. To be honest with you, or oh, a vending have, machine. Like a, you know they doing the vending machines now too. Oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I love to throw out ideas. Here. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta talk off here. I got you, says I got you. <laughs> yes. Yeah, um, that'll be awesome. I would it to be um you know i would love for it to be a uh, just a standalone you know uh building but um where i'm trying to where i see myself actually is extending mm-hmm. the line mm-hmm. um shampoo conditioner mm-hmm. de- you know, yeah lock twist lock twist lock all twist all right. All, all right all right don't forget about us sis please but you know, before I and it, even before I even before I um, rolled out the the hair serum, the way how I was making it for my daughter, okay. I really wanted to make sure I perfected it even before I wanted to sell it to other people. It's one okay. thing when you making it just for yourself, right? You it, right. You have to make sure it's a little bit you know perfected and everything. Yeah. Started. But the main, the main products is definitely still included. But that's okay. just gonna be the same thing for me with everything else. I have to kind of play around with it first. I got you. Got to get your chemistry on. You know what I'm saying? I feel you. You got to get your mad scientist goggles out. Let me make sure. Got you. So with that being said, do you have like a secret recipe already? Yeah. I mean, cause te- technically, <laughs> okay. <laughs> 
Okay. <laughs> so, okay, you got the secret recipe. You got it. You got it down to a science, just the way you like it with the with the uh, oil. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Nice. My husband was just the other day. It's so funny. He said to me the other day. He said, "Baby, you know, you really gotta tell me how, like, you know, to make it <laughs> measurements." Everything. Okay. You can't and just be like a little bit of this, a little bit of that. <laughs> I'm like, but I can't tell you. It's just like I just know, you know, like off the top of my head, like you know, this, you know. I know it sounds crazy, but it makes perfect sense. In my, in my. I get what you're saying. I do that when I'm cooking. I'm like, I wonder how much my nana will put. Uh, you know what? Here you go. This is it. <laughs> that's, that's it. <laughs> Wow, nice, nice, nice. So, are you consistent with your orders? Are you ever overbooked? Do you have to be like, yo, I got to take a step back and tell him like my orders aren't going to be pushed out, you know, as soon as they thought it would be? Do you ever have to do that? Um, so with, I've had phases, so it's crazy because sometimes orders just come in waves where I just right. have so much. And in that case, everybody is in production. Husband, kids, <laughs> everybody, everybody working. We gotta get this stuff out, you know. But I, I truly thank I truly thank God for them though, because they always do it with a smile nice. and they never complain. But yeah, I have I have I have my you know my downtime, and then I mm -hmm. have sometimes you know 10, 12 orders just come in. I'm like whoa, you know. Wow. So I have to gauge my time time management is very important for me i got you i got you so do you have um any orders right now that's going out that you yeah. need to fulfill yeah. all <laughs> yes ma'am i got three <laughs> nice nice okay so you are like the real life madam cj walker 2021 like you got the whole family involved yep. and that's nice Thank and they you. don't mind helping you in no no that's what family business that's what i'm talking about okay so how do you personally define success is it money freedom influence creative expression and innovation or something else um influence yeah i that's how i define success um it's not it's not even so much about the money if okay. I can motivate somebody else to step out on faith as well, then I've done my job. Yeah, that's the big thing right there is faith. Yep. yep. You know what they say: faith without works is dead. Okay. Hey, you know, all right, all right, we know the word. <laughs> okay, so. Besides the Bible, because we know the word, what yeah. book should every business owner read if you have a favorite book? I just um, read, <coughs> just read a book. Give me one second. Let me. I, I, I'm gonna look at my phone because. Okay, go ahead. Do you, girl? <laughs> yeah, because I literally just um, finished reading this book. Okay. Hold on. Take your time. Okay. okay. Um, so this is actually um so the title is Discover Your Superpowers. Who's about it's by Tamara Paul. Tamara Paul, Discover Your Superpowers. I like that. Gave me a little chill yes, over and it's here. on Amazon. Yeah, okay. it's on Amazon Audible. So it's it's really, really good. That book helped me a lot. Okay. Nice. Yes. So, and like, and did it help you in areas of your business and marketing or anything like that? Marketing, entrepreneurship, um, self motivation, um, empowerment. Um, it was it was a really really good book. And the crazy thing is, that's family. That's one of my, you know my family, my husband's family. So wow. she wrote the book. And wow. was there talking, like you know, I wrote a book right about <laughs> you know thing we were talking about and when i read it it was literally everything that i needed so i always recommend that book to friends okay. um and I recommend anybody that's ready to you know embark on entrepreneurship or you're stepping out on any you know anything major that book it'll definitely steer you in the right path 
Nice. And that's Discovering Your Superpowers, right? Yes, by Tamara Paul. Tamara Paul. Okay, nice. Yes. Nice. All right. So you say you were always in the hair care industry, correct? Would you say yes. that your hair care education or experience like helped you prepare for this business? Yes. Okay. Yes. Because, um, and it's the same to me, hair care, health care, same thing. You that have is to be, true. You have to be a people person and you have to be willing to help because when a person calls and they sit in your chair, they are trusting you to look like how it, how What's they going on with this, sis? Okay. <laughs> All right, like I need you to help me do something with this. Like get me, you know, right. So they're trusting you, right? Right, right. You know, and if you you have to be approachable, you know, and just be in the healthcare period. Anytime you are in a, 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 a career field where you know you are offering your services, offering help, I think it definitely prepared me to be in in the position that I'm in today. Because yeah. You know, I just love to help. Nice, nice. That's good. That's awesome. Do you have a bottle of your product with you? Yes. Oh, you are you gonna put that on the screen? <laughs> do the thing how they do on um how they do it on when they do it the hand and stuff like that. <laughs> put it up to the screen. Bring it in. Bring it in. I don't know what it does, but I'm gonna do it anyway. <laughs> yeah. bring it in so that is the majestic hair care serum that looks nice and i love the color of it too because a lot of people they, they like visuals and if something don't look right in the bottle they be like i ain't putting that on my hair right. but it looks like it reminds me of vo5 um oil treatment remember this little vo5 oil treatment it has a beautiful yeah. color i would use it i'm definitely gonna buy a bottle and how much is that bottle right there well, the bottle is 10. Okay. Is that the only it's bottle size you have? It's the only bottle size I have. Okay. Um, it's a four ounce bottle, and I can tell you that this is a lot of product. This bottle will last you at least like a month, like about a month. Nice. Okay. And if it don't last you a month, you're using too much. <laughs> you're using too much. Exactly. <laughs> got you. Got you. Now, do you have any like package deals? Do you have a smaller bottle or just that one size? So I actually am thinking about um, doing a smaller bottle okay, or a bigger bottle. I haven't decided yet because um, I don't know. I think I want to go bigger because mainly because I have a lot of my customers that are coming back. Now they're buying two, three bottles. If they mm. buy one bottle, then, you know, so I just want to leave that choice. I'm, so I may leave the four ounce and then just okay. a, 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 a size up. A 10 ounce no, or something like that, or eight ounce. Right. Gotcha. Right. Don't give them too much now, because you give them too much, you know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we got to keep the business rolling, sis. <laughs> got to keep it going. That's nice. Nice. Okay, so let me give you about two more questions, and we're going to let you get out of here. So what do you do for encouragement? Or to be motivated. I know you said you're passionate, but sometimes we just had them days, sis, when you're just like, you know what, Lord, this ain't it. This ain't it. <laughs> so, what do you do um, for encouragement or to be motivated to just be like, okay, I got to get it together. Let's go, Handy. Let's go. What we do? Okay. Okay. Um, so, aside from my husband, he is okay. definitely one of the biggest motivators for me and my children um i really consume myself in worship music that's how no, i that's right that's how i get my my day going even if i'm in that little funk i they, they just kind of you know you know that right song that right okay oh, okay lord i'm sorry i'm gonna get it together <laughs> okay you Okay, I might as well go there, but you know that one small have you Google crying stuff coming in. Okay, all right. Well, I'm yeah. with you, <laughs> my, my song is Be Grateful by Walter Hawkins. Right? Every time uh, I come, I'm like, God, dog, get all right, all right. <laughs> but see, 
see, and see, sometimes you don't even be wanting to go there. You don't even be wanting to go there. But just, you hear that one song, you hear the car like, yes, Lord. <laughs> you just can't <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> but you know the good thing about it is God let you be who you are because after He gets you right together, He'll let that that gangster music come on. Oh yeah, I'm back now. Let it touch my gangster. <laughs> I don't know about for you, but that's my Pandora shuffle. Gospel, a little bit of hip hop, RB, just mixes up. Bit, look, my husband have a uh, my husband has a shirt. shirt <laughs> that says, uh, I love God and trap music. <laughs> I love your husband. <laughs> Hey man, whatever, whatever, <laughs> you know, whatever you gotta do, but that's him, you know. So I, I, I feel you. Oh my God! Well, yes, <laughs> that is a good encouragement and motivation because I'm not gonna lie, that's what I gotta do too to just get out of the funk. Because sometimes, yes. like yourself is your you, you're your biggest enemy. You know what I'm saying? Oh yes. And sometimes you just gotta lay it on the altars with my grandma. Lay it on the altar, baby. Just lay it up there. Yes. Yes. You know. Okay, nice. All right. So let's see. This last question. Let me stir it up, stir it up, stir it up. Let's see. Hmm. Do you embrace your children's curiosity when they ask you things involving the business? Do you teach them? Or you just be like, you know what? I ain't got time to show you this right now. <laughs> I'll show it to you at a later date and time. Or do you say, you know what? I'm going to show you this because you are the future of this business right right no i definitely embrace it i nice. definitely embrace it um especially zion she's very um very inquisitive but that's fine nice. though you know <laughs> are very inquisitive that's just a sign of intelligence their mind is always going right always going yeah so i don't i don't um if they come to me and they want to know something i definitely explain it to them because what i am putting together and what i am building um is for them it's not even so much for nice. me it's what i'm leaving behind so i need you guys to know what's going on i need you guys to know what are the main ingredients you know because you guys are you guys are using a product too my son jojo his hair is just long you know he has played <laughs> I saw that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Wow. Nice. Yeah. Leave it for your children's 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 children. That's it. The, bi the Bible said that too. Okay. Look, okay. look, don't look, 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 no. I'm not talking to you, Hanny, because you know, but the rest of them, look, look, look. Don't sleep on the kid. Now, sometimes I may not act like I ain't got it, but I got good sense of it. <laughs> 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 but moving right along so why don't you go ahead and drop all your information so the listeners can find your product and find you talk to you connect with you find that book that you mentioned which was called what's that book called again discovering your superpowers that's discovering your superpowers by tamra paul okay okay Yes. All right. And also, um, and also, if you would like to connect with me, you can go to my Instagram page. It is Just in Hair Care. Okay. Mm -hmm. And if you need to place an order, just send me a message. And right now, um, I am my uh, my website will be updated with the product online. But for right now, I'm just handling all orders hands on. So you can just send me a message, and I'll be sure to get that out to you as soon as possible. Nice. Now, do you you have a Facebook and Instagram, or just uh, Instagram or so just my, Facebook? My, but you can reach out to me on 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 um, Facebook as well. So okay. my Facebook page is Hanny H A N N I last name Pinellas P I N E E L L A S. Feel free to send me a message on there as well. I'll be happy. I would love to speak with you guys. If you guys have any questions, concerns, reach out to me as well. Y'all see it on the screen. Hanny Pinellas on Facebook. And you said Majestic yes, Hair Care majestic. product. Yes. Just uh, Majestic Hair Care. All right. Let me get that on the screen, too. I be forgetting I could do this stuff. You know, I'm a one woman show, and it just be so much on me, girl. I just don't know how to maintain. You're doing a good job. You're doing a good job. You're doing a good job. <laughs> Thank you so much, Majestic Hair Care. Let me get that up there for y'all. 
add that and show that. So that's on Instagram. Did I get it right? Majestic Hair Care? That's it. All right, y'all. So y'all make sure y'all go check out Ms. Hanny Pinellas, CEO, founder, all of that good stuff. <laughs> she know who she is. She don't need no validation. Go check her out. Majestic Hair Care Products. I'm going to get me some because, you know, I'm trying to keep these locks for as long as I can. Because, <laughs> you know, I ain't going to lie, you know, they're getting a little thin at the top, girl, you know, but whatever. Yeah. So, I, <laughs> but I just believe that that. Sam is going to strengthen these locks. <laughs> All right, Hanny, it's been real. I want to thank you so much for giving me this opportunity. No, sis, thank you. You just don't know. Like, I'm trying to, I'll be scrambling back here. I need somebody to talk to. Let me find, please, just respond to the email. So just like you be back there praying, I'll be back here praying to please respond to the email. Please, please, please. <laughs> But that's what it is, and I appreciate you so much. I look forward to seeing what Majestic Hair Care products will come up with next. Definitely that um, lock twist. <clears throat> can we make yeah. that, <clears throat> that? Can we make that next? <clears throat> <laughs> Some type of creamery, something, sis. Give it to me. <laughs> yes. Yes. I'm working. I'm working. All right, good deal. So on the screen, ladies and gentlemen. Say good night to Miss Hanifa Pinellas and thank you again for tuning in with us. It's been a pleasure. We love you. See you when we see you, girl. <laughs> Peace. Bye. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that was Miss Hanny Pinellas from I say Warlando, but I'm not gonna say that for her because that's Orlando when you talking to her. Okay, you put some respect on that. That, that my girl right there, y'all. Y'all make sure y'all check out her hair care product, Majestic Hair Care. Let me put it up on the screen again so y'all can go see it on Instagram. Shoot her a message. Follow on her Facebook. Y'all already know how it go on City Flow here at Hit It City Radio. It's your girl, Top Notch Butter Scotch. Remember, keep it real rap raw so they can't call you flow. I'm about to get out of here. And, you know, um... I was going to play a song, <laughs> but since we just got off with Hanny, I ain't going to play that song. <laughs> let me, um, let me just play some, uh, Payout by Radio George Amadeus and, uh, Secret something other. I don't know, but I'm about to get out of here, y'all. Peace. <laughs> Can I get some money?